and with Irene Mir, the co-editor of the Global Information Technology Report 2009. Scandinavia has kept its competitive edge, once again topping the rankings. Why is this? Indeed, Scandinavia is really an inspiring example on how to leverage ICT for increased competitiveness. Not only Denmark and Sweden have topped the ranking for the last three years, but also the, 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 the other Scandinavian countries have featured consistently in the top ten over the last eight years. I would say all these countries share common features, which can explain their, their, uh, their amazing uh, network readiness. Mainly the, a very supportive environment for ICT, a top-notch educational system, a research system, a, a, a culture of innovation in the private and public sector alike, and least but not last, a early and consistent focus on the part of the government on the importance of uh, ICT and innovation in the, in the general uh, um, competitiveness agenda. I see that China has risen 11 places and is now leading the BRIC countries. That might surprise a few people. It might surprise a few people, but really not people who have been following uh, China rise in the, last, uh, in the last few years. As we know, China is nowadays the biggest exporter of ICT products. Also, we have actually performed uh, an analysis of the last eight years of the Natural Alliance Index, and China has been one of the most dynamic countries in terms of improving the rankings. Uh, China, a, few, a few elements we have observed in the last years are, uh, have to do with the improvement in the readiness and the capacity of the main stakeholder to use ICT, including especially the individuals and the government. There is much more of a, uh, of a perception that the government is really putting ICT at the center of its development agenda, uh, which is also translating in better services and efficiency uh, of the government. Um, I would say that the trend is probably sustainable in the long term, but there are a few uh, weaknesses which the country needs to address to make it sustainable, having to do mainly with the sheer size of its market, so quality of the infrastructure is not as good as it should be uh, nationally. Uh, inter in, uh, internet, mobile phone, PC penetration are still quite low, and also there are some weaknesses in the, in the, I would say in the market environment and in the regulatory environment, especially with respect to intellectual property protection. The Middle East is also on the rise. It is indeed. It's actually the reason, the, the, the region which has progressed the most in the last eight years, according to our analysis. Uh, it's something that you see also in the stellar increase in, uh, in internet penetration, for instance, in the Middle East, and also in the fact that uh, more and more countries put ICT as, at the center of their, uh, of their uh, development agenda, especially as, a, as an infrastructure and as a tool really to diversify um, their economy away from oil and also to modernize their society. So it's definitely a very interesting uh, region to, uh, to watch. And turning to Latin America, that seems to be slightly lagging behind? Yeah, Latin America is not as dynamic as the Middle East. Uh, there are countries improving this year as well, but it's true that there are no countries in the top 30. The best ranked country is actually a very small Caribbean island, Carib the Barbados, which is ranked 36th. But the rest of the country are kind of in the, in the middle of the ranking or in the bottom of the ranking. There are a number of problems which they share, which actu are actually preventing the, the region to leverage more ICT, having to do mainly with overregulated markets, which actually reflects in very high uh, access costs to, to, to ICT. Um, there is a problem in the, in the educational system and research system. The educational system is not producing the number uh, of, uh, of uh, skilled uh, labor force, especially I'm thinking uh, of uh, scientists and engineers. And also, let, we should say that also, even if uh, in, the, in, the, in the last few years, really ICT has been moved more and more to the center of the government agenda, Latin America is a bit of a late uh, uh, comer in that, because if you think that many Asian countries started you know, to draft their uh, digital agenda 20 years ago, so definitely that there is a, there is a lag. And uh, the GITR rankings have now been going for eight years. Can you draw any conclusions from those, from those years? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting to look, uh, you know, to observe over the years uh, the countries which are rising and the countries which have consistently, uh, you know, performed in the top ten. And I think there are some common features which we can, uh, we, which we can really uh, kind of uh, um, take from their experiences. Uh, I would say three main features. First one is the conducive environment, especially uh, the human infrastructure. Second one is a consistent and clear focus in the government agenda on the importance of ICT, really as a, in the center of the competitive strategy. And the third one is the importance of a multi-stakeholder approach. This, uh, the, the government needs to take the lead, but it needs to involve the private sector in the implementation of the vision. 
And finally, when and where can we see the report? The report is going to be for the first year fully available and downloadable online from our website, starting from March 26th.